how do you turn a pumpkin into a carriage? How do you do that? Um, it's it's um, impossible, but not, not completely. If you're gonna take on Cinderella as a, a Broadway musical, the magical element is crucial to the center of the storytelling, and it's really been a huge part of the design process. The director and the set designer work together first. They create the world, the world that is Cinderella, the forest. Anna Luisa has designed this stunning set, and it's all on one level, but it's got a million options with these trees that move in and out. It, 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 the set itself is choreography. One thing we don't want to have is any kind of moments where the, the stage goes black and you're waiting for the scenery to change. It's all going to flow very elegantly. I come in next and people it. We discover the people in the forest, we discover the people in the, the town, in the village, and it, at court. It's been fun working with William. He is incredibly creative. He's done a beautiful take on this fairy tale. Because the fairy godmother and Cinderella sort of pull their love and pull their strength from nature. He's designed everything around something in nature, and it's, it's really beautiful. Play takes place in a forest, um, and the forest is the frame for, for the entire event. It's been exciting how much that has been central to the visual um, world that uh, people will be seeing. The fairy tale world that is Cinderella is, has to be. It's, it's like it's, it's been passed down Judgment Day. It has to be magical, because actual magic happens. Mm -hmm.